Hello, Sim the World here. We are back with Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Now today we're doing something a little bit different here. We had a request from Tim. He's been a long follower of the channel. He is talking about putting a V8 in a Salem Flameau, AKA the Ford Pinto. So with that, that's a pretty big engine to slap in one of these vehicles. As you can see, we didn't pull this. Technically, we did pull it from the junkyard. Um, I've cleaned it up quite a bit, got some new parts on, threw some slicks on this bad boy. Now, it, you've seen us build cars like this plenty of times before. I'm not going to say that um, I had issues recording and it, the first take of this didn't record, but um, that, that did happen. So the car is done and ready to go. But what's not ready to go is the engine we're putting in here. So he asked to put a V8 in, which, you know, there's not a lot of space. So <laughs> I think the engine swaps, you can only put the, uh, you can put an inline six, but I wanted to go for power. And re-recording this actually isn't a bad thing. You'll see I do have slicks on this because before I just used sport tires and the purpose of this video wasn't just to rebuild the car, but it was to take it to the track as well. I want to see what kind of horsepower we can get out of this Ford Pinto and how well we can keep it on the track. So we're starting off with our V8. We're getting all tuning components on this. That's the first thing we got to get done. And then we can drop it in. Because I, I want us to get the maximum horsepower out of this. I thought a big V8 engine would look really sick in this. And of course, it's gonna be putting out a crap ton of power. And with all these tuning components, I tried to stay as far away from components that were missing in the game as I could. So hopefully I did a good job. Now, if you guys are probably wondering how we're gonna stick this in here, there is the car editor. So I went in and created a version of this car where I was able to fit a V8 in the car. I changed up the exhaust a little bit. We changed up the transmission uh, just to make sure everything worked as it's supposed to. And it looks good. Obviously there is no running parts in this game. So it's just all images copied over top of each other, but I think they look like they fit in the car. And that's the whole point. So, oh, no, we don't want to do that. We want the tuning spark plugs. Thought I got rid of those. All right, so I'm going to keep putting these parts in. I'm going to get all the tuning parts ready to run. I'm not going to take you along the whole ride because you know, as you can tell, there's a lot to put in here. We still got a whole nother set of rocker arms. I think the coil pack, we can get a tuning part. So I want to go check that, but I'll be back when this is wrapped up. I'm just finishing up, putting on the carburetors. Of course, oh God, 12% boost. That looks really good on top. Some of these tuning parts I do enjoy. They, they did a really good job. Uh, I just wish there was a wider selection and that all the engine and exhaust uh, components were covered in that. But with that, we've got one good looking engine. This thing's about to go in our Ford Pinto. Let's take that off the crane. We gotta get this put in the engine. So everything should be good. It looks pretty good in here, if I do say so myself. Things are a little tight. We'll get the oil in here. Make sure that's all good to go. I still gotta get the transmission underneath, along with the exhaust components. Make sure everything's tuning where we can do it. So, yeah, here's this. You can take a look. Everything's a little tight in there. But I think overall, It'll look better once the transmission is in the back, of course. 
actually the front end of this car wasn't too bad to set up with the components in here. The one thing I will mention is these OHV front exhaust, the lettered ones, they don't have tuning components. So those are the only chrome, uh, chromeless exhaust components that we have on this car. Everything else should give us a boost. You can't fix everything, but try to fix most of it. As for the gearbox, we will use a tuning gearbox, and I also need to play with the tuner on this. So we will go take a look at that in just a second. Let me get through here. Yeah, one of the difficulties in re-recording this was I actually deleted my edit with the original. I used just a, a standard V8 engine before. So I deleted that because of just this past episode's um, car, sim car simulator video. It, it created issues uh, since I switched the engine on it. So I had to switch back. Long story short, this should hopefully give us more power than I saw before. Uh, let's play with the transmission tuning because, as you can see, it, it's going to max out. I don't know much about the tuning here, so, you know, please excuse the nonsense that I'm doing. I don't quite understand it, but I do know that if it is too low, like we only had fourth gear here, we were going to cap out at 283 kilometers an hour, which to be clear, before with just a V8, this thing hit. This thing maxed out pretty quick. So I'm going to save this tune. It's not realistic. I don't understand it. I've never had a good experience with tuning where I was, I, I got tangible results. Most of the tuning I've done has actually decreased my performance. But if you guys have suggestions, please let me know. I want to understand these things too. So this information, I haven't found a lot online for this game. It makes a lot of sense to me, but perhaps there are other resources. But let's see what we max out here at. Oh, ooh, 730 horsepower. That ain't too bad at all. That is a lot of power. We are going to take this to the track and see if not with the slicks, we can keep this thing on the track. Because with just the sport tires, this thing, you, you tap the gas and you are off into the side. Normally with the slicks, this is a lot more helpful. We'll find out. I'm, I'm just pushing the gas straight down, see if we can keep it straight. Oh yeah, those slicks make such a difference. If you're having trouble on the track keeping it going, Throw some slicks on, you should just be able to hold down the gas and get the full speed out of it. So we hit 300 kilometers without much issue at all. Uh, it looks like we could have kept going too if it weren't for the lack of track. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I'll take that. So this just goes to show what you can do with a little time in the editor, uh, playing around, getting this configured just right, you can have a lot of fun. See, I, I, I think the transmission is a little forward on this, but everything seems to fit. I didn't have to scale the engine too much. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. You guys let me know down in the comments below. This was my first time playing with the car editor. I think some of the main things I saw was just making sure that the exhaust pipes lined up and connected. I know sometimes you'll have weird mods where you know some of that stuff doesn't look as great and that's because you know, either the body didn't line up or things just clipped each other. Uh, in the back, tailpipes stick out a little bit more than I was hoping, but when you're in the car editor you pick the exhaust style so this whole line that's highlighted 
that's one component and you can size and configure that how you want but in order to get it to connect it, you're kind of limited in the editor and i'm sure there's people that actually mod these things and can configure their own parts without any of these difficulties i am certainly not somebody who understands any of that but as far as an engine swap goes i th i think we can do that here and there you guys let me know what you think if you guys have any other suggestions for future full restoration series please let me know down in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching as i simulate my life one game at a time if you enjoyed this video please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action you can follow on twitter for updates to future games being played as well as follow on Twitch, as I'll occasionally stream live. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.